A local gas station owner says he was held at gunpoint this morning, but instead of handing over cash, he called police. Police had the gas station blocked off at the intersection of Bay Meadows Road and San Jose Boulevard for a while this morning. Channel 4's Heather Lee spoke with the gas station owner about his daring decision. The gas station owner says that he saw a brown car pull up to this pump, which is pump one. And when that happened, a man got out. He was dressed with a hoodie on. He said that something just wasn't right. He looked suspicious, which is why he decided to keep an eye on him the entire time. Gary Patel has owned this gas station for 12 years. He says up until today, he's never had a gun pulled on him. But that doesn't mean he hasn't been ready just in case. This is a very, very scary business. Are you always on the lookout? Yes, I, I always watch. I always uh, for that in the morning to whenever I work. Yeah, it should be. And today, he didn't let his guard down. Once Patel saw a man in a hoodie walk in and linger by the oil, he began taking a mental note, which came in handy right after another customer walked in, Thank prepaid you. for gas, and walked out. As soon as the lady left, he come up. He had a handkerchief tied with the face. So, and he's... That's why I knew that he's going to be rob me or like that. And he pulled gun and he said, give me cash, give me cash. I saw his hand have a pistol. That's why I was scared. I, and I started screaming, you know. Patel says his instinct was to call 911 and duck down behind the counter. He also pressed this switch, also known as a panic button, that is hooked up to a line that directly calls police when it's pushed. It was enough to frighten the man with the gun. Patel says he darted for the door. How dangerous is this profession? That profession is 100% dangerous. 100%. Because the Jacksonville crime rate and, uh, you know, the gas station, there is a different kind of people coming. Most of them are good, but you never know, you know. Patel says he called his family to tell them what happened. His daughter is relieved he's okay. I called my daughter and say, daughter said, Dad, you need to open the register. <laughs> Give you... it the money, you know. <laughs> because uh, I was, you know, I put my life on. That's why. Now the clerk says that along with paying attention to anyone who pulls up outside or comes inside his store, he says surveillance cameras are very, very important to have. He says he's got several around his building and in his parking lot just in case. And it will come in handy in this situation because he says that police have taken his surveillance video and are looking into it right now as part of this investigation. Heather Lee, Channel 4, The Local Station.